Uh, so for our uh, final project, we decided to make an oscilloscope and function generator using a Raspberry Pi and PIC32. Um, so this is the hardware right here. Um, this is the Raspberry Pi, which controls uh, the user interface. Um, and this is the PIC, which is, which is in charge of data collection and uh, waveform generation. So basically how it works um, is that the PIC um, uses the, a 12-bit DAC, uh, SPI controlled, uh, to generate um, different like waveforms. Uh, while using the 10-bit onboard ADC uh, to read waveforms. And, and the advantage of using both is that the, is that the PIC can do hard real-time stuff accurately and the Pi has nice graphic support and networking yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Exactly. Yeah. I, so, <laughs> I guess here we have the demo running and as you can see here we can change uh, firstly, what the function generates, as Jeff mentioned, so we can generate a square wave. And so we're looking up here at the at the function generator. Yeah. And and so then you have the function generator, as you said, hooked to the ADC input. So we're seeing it down here. Okay. Yeah. As well as the oscilloscope, and then uh -huh. you can generate a sawtooth wave. Uh -huh. and you can generate a sine wave. And you can change the frequency. Cool. And zoom out a little bit. You can change around the amplitude. Uh huh. Okay. So you've got so you have the best of both worlds. You have a Linux host and a real-time system running together. Yeah. And then we also added like extra features, like being able to get the peak to peak and also be able to save our um, okay. plots. Okay. So once you click save in the file system, you can find like a plot that... Okay, so that's good. Very cool. Okay, thank you.